Hello, welcome to my Sunday front. Today, I just have this um, quick little impromptu thing that I just whipped up real fast because I was seeing like there was like this um this just like question it was just like random event that happened and I don't really know the origin or the original video or the creator who started this but they posed a question it was a feminist question and it was dismissed just one and entertain my argument type of thing and it was like everybody just quickly picked it up it started spiraling out of nowhere just nuts and um over the weekend it kind of took over like a lot of the a lot of the talks and stuff you know like a lot of people were um you know just talking about this one thing <laughs> And, um, so I wanted to talk about it because, like, I know it's, like, not the weekend and that's all I heard over the weekend. <laughs> um, so, man versus bear. And, like I said, it was a question where they go, well, as a woman, would you rather be stuck with a man or a bear in the woods? So, which one would you choose? <laughs> if you had a choice between a man, a male, and a wild bear. So, that was the question. And since I'm a girl, I mean, it could go either way. Like, you could answer it as a person. Like, anybody could answer that question, right? Why was it, you know, why was it posed such a way? Why was it kind of like you know like added to a red pill conversation or why was it pushed to a man's face so these are like things that I just you know me I'm not a very critical person I'm not you know like a person that's skeptical all the time and, and that's kind of my thing like I don't just blindly walk into things but at the same time I'm kind of clumsy you know about life and situations I find myself in I think that maybe hindsight you know I should have asked more questions before I went into it um like am I really that <laughs> am I really that invested like <laughs> But, you know, it's harmless, right? Like, it's just, you know, they just popped up out of nowhere, just randomly selected some thing that, you know, was they found was um, something that anybody could answer and um, just pick, you know, just out, out of the blue subjects that they thought would be, you know, kind of interesting enough to choose you know we had a choice and that's what I think that you know a lot of curiosity came from the choice um, because who doesn't like cute bears <laughs> um, so when someone asks a post question which do you feel safe with I feel like there's a whole drag behind it, especially since I've always been red pill. And this is true, I've always thought and acted and behaved in su such a way that was more leaning towards red pill. I know when they are targeting an audience, they are doing a recruitment for hazing. Is the referent a bear or a man? Well, it kind of depends. Is this a real lighthearted roast? Or are you going to deduce creation, living beings into creatures, beastly in nature, and rabid foaming at the mouth? Where is it in question, a gender, a population, the spectacle of man, an orientation? 
The constant in any confrontation, let alone hunter lusting for a bloody kill to satiate an everlasting hunger the size of an even comparable to an animal? So you're comparing, you know, a man and a beast, right? So if you were in between, you know, life and death, and you were choosing the most um, neutral one, the most tame, you know, so which would it be? Um, would you find that a man would be, you know, indifferent? Or would you find that a bear could possibly be indifferent? <laughs> it's silly, right? It's just a silly question. No harm done. So... Um, as a human being, I find the question, if it were analyzed to be a matter of evolution, I don't understand any living thing, nor concern myself being, how do you say, the grasp of neutral appreciation for creationism, and why should I? Like, I just don't. I never thought that we would get this, pro, you know, this, prog how do you say, this far, that we would just, you know, be kicking back and just chilling, and somebody would come up and just dismiss the entirety of, uh, you know, <laughs> culture, <laughs> and just ask this question out of the blue, as if it weren't going to trigger. That's just my take on the whole thing. Point and laugh all you want at either party. Why you brought, you know, why you brought them up the most basic life cycles, food chains, events that happen, despite your newfound clout. Try harder to sound smart or from a real base questions like, why do you still live with your mom? <laughs> and that's what I could think of. Like, I mean, if somebody came up and was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain, but I get this a lot, you know, and I'm like a girl, so like I shouldn't, you would, you would say, you know, act like a lady and don't, don't sound off, you know, back, don't retaliate, you know, don't sound off, that's what they always tell me, you know, ever since I was born, hey, you know what, you need to not, you know what I mean, and I'm not gonna be sitting here, you know, Barking my head off like a hyena because, like, you're not, you know, base, <laughs> like, you know, but at the same time, um, I'm not going to rub elbows with somebody who's not on my level, and I'm also definitely not going to give you that clout, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not even the fact that I could possibly entertain this question. Which I will. I'm going on. I'm moving on to really, you know, dissecting it. But at the same time, like you know, I said, you know, <laughs> you are the company you keep. And I would like all my conversations to be a little bit more on the higher intellectual levels. And, you know, over the weekend I was seeing this just like, just go nuts all over the internet and you know so I was just like wow <laughs> we have progressed <laughs> this question went viral all over mainstream media even content creators making segments around it it sounds like a random question a survival pro quo or maybe a dating show quizzing thing to ask out of the blue why is it such an interesting subject? What is the thesis? And what context does this allude to? I am always suspicious. So as I am, you know, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, a little bit out of control, a little bit wild, and a little bit, you know, 
I guess a little bit saucy sometimes. I'm also, you know, like, I'm also kind of, you know, in my head a little bit, and I do get suspicious of things. So when out of context questions occur, I'm just like, wait a minute. Do you think you can trick me? <laughs> they never failed to amaze bringing up capabilities of man and nature as if it were as if it was solely <laughs> were to continue life and survive in nature <laughs> as if bringing up an animal from wildlife would aid as a counter to anything <laughs> like your 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 argument like is that fair like what <laughs> like I said, come on guys with the smarter like clap backs to so you know um to society like is that your is that your final answer like is that your question like really is that your is that a question right now um you know because like you don't like the way things are going in society or like you just feel like you want to rebel and like <laughs> and like counter an argument of normalcy as it you know as it remains important to kind of stay on top of your game <laughs> so to speak like you come back and kind of make a mockery <laughs> you know of the whole thing and that's what i find a lot on social media you know a lot of i think people they you know like they kind of want to out people they want to expose you and cancel you for whatever you say but at the same time you know there are people that do like watching <laughs> that type of in that type of content you know what i'm saying and here we are and here i am and so like it's kind of it's kind of interesting the way the dynamics of things these days you know and so um you know, the way social media has played out so far is just, it's very curious. Okay. You know, you do know he would be there anyways, right? Mr. Yogi the Bear. <laughs> what if I were stuck in the woods as a woman? Count on my incapabilities to entertain Misandras and my haters in unison. How proficient is the next guy, right? That's that's your question? <laughs> How proficient is the next guy, like, the wild animal that survives out there? Um, me as a bear tamer all of a sudden? <laughs> or a man, right? Like, how proficient is every single man that could possibly be added to that equation of survival in the woods? But that's not the theory at all as a lousy woman dismiss man or beast because creationism wildlife isn't stuck with man wild life live in the wild like they literally live in the wild like do not understand like he is going to be there anyway. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> and, um, you know, man isn't obligated to provide the service of sustainability. <laughs> like, what do you think? You're, you're like, you know, denigrating a population, you know, by orientation in, in to like, uh, so, you know, like, a a um, how do you call them? A, a servant, um, indentured servant. Like, man isn't obligated. <laughs> Deducing men to cheap labor is dumb, and I doubt the interviewer realized that women don't cling to another shipwreck victim. They would both be victims. Victims. They would both be victims. Like, that question it's just you know it's all around like you know i know it's supposed to be taken as a silly lighthearted thing but <laughs> but how do you like take okay like you humanize a bear because like he has to keep me company and help me survive so then like i'm like using a bear or like am i like taking a man 
out of like his comfort of like what <laughs> that doesn't make sense either <laughs> so like it's kind of like okay all the all all three of these people exist s surviving in the woods because of some extreme event <laughs> but the bear lives there <laughs> and the man's not obligated to serve me <laughs> And, you know, like, did you ask me if I can survive in the woods by myself? <laughs> or if I can find my way out? Or if, like, you know, like, maybe I have a cell phone in my pocket. <laughs> can I can I call a friend? Because I don't like this question. <laughs> but I hope you like my video. If you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon on my son, Different. Bye-bye. <laughs>